Hi, Mr. Murphy here, and uh, we're going to look at doing the third part of our transformations, which is rotation. Um, I have got a, another video that deals with how to do transformations using tracing paper or to find the center of transformations, um, which you may find quite useful to do a transformation in GCSE that deals with rotations. Uh, what I will try and do in this video is just do the basics of a rotation, uh, but check out that other video um, if you need to. So let's look at three particular questions. This first one has a, uh, a question here where we've got to rotate A around a point P. Okay. Now what I'm going to say is if we say that the rotation we'll need three parts. The first part, okay, is the fact that it's a rotation, okay? So whenever we're de de describing anything, we would need to say that it's got a rotation. Uh, the second part is the fact that in that rotation, we would need to have a direction, okay? So uh, there are two directions that we look out for this. If you think of a clock face, we've got uh, 12, 6, 3, and 9, okay. And the hands on the clock will go that way around, around to the right, okay. So that's what's known as clockwise, okay. So if we follow the way the clock goes, where the hands go around to the right, that's a clockwise rotation. If we look at the opposite way, okay then it's anti-clockwise, okay? So anti-clockwise goes the opposite way to the way that a clock would, clock, clock's hands would turn around on a clock face, okay? Uh, the third thing that we look for, okay, is uh, the amount of turn, okay? Okay, so the amount of turn. Now, mostly on these sorts of questions, especially in GCSE, you're dealing either with 90 degrees, okay, you're dealing with 180 degrees, or you're dealing with 270 degrees, okay. They're usually the three start, uh, three types of uh, rotations that you will do. And they're all very quite easy to, to just, just check to, and I can show you an easy way to do that. Okay, um, the fourth thing you need to do, okay, um, if you've said that it's a rotation, you've said which direction and how much of the turn, okay, the fourth thing is from where, okay, so where is the center of rotation? Uh, and finding the center of rotation, like I said, the other video I've got would be a lot more beneficial than this one. So, um, Let's have a look, go straight into this question. So we've got this question and we're gonna say that we need to do it 90 degrees clockwise from point, pl uh, point P and we need to plot that new shape and we're gonna call it shape B when we get it plotted, okay? So what I've done is I've overlaid, um, I've got my, my, my question here. I'm gonna put a little cross where P is Okay, and you can see I've got an overlay um, that is slightly transparent. Okay, and I'm gonna treat this like your tracing paper. So you would put a little cross or a little mark where P is, okay? And then you would rotate around by P 90 degrees. Now, how do I know what 90 degrees is? A real simple way is to, in the middle there, put a cross. Okay, because then as you're turning each way around, we're going to go clockwise. So this point here on the, the north line or the, the, the vertical line would need to turn around and face this point here to face east. So those two points are going to have to meet as they cross over. We're just going to go a quarter turn. Okay, so I'm just going to take my tracing paper. Okay, and I'm just gonna rotate that round. Okay, now you can see my point P has changed. So I need to make sure P 
is hovering over the cross that I originally started with. Okay, so I'm just going to rub this bit out in the middle so we can see the crosses. Okay, so make sure that P is hovering over the same area exactly. And when it is there, okay, there we go. And you can see where that has become. Okay, so we've got that point there, that point there, that point there, and that point there. Okay, and then what you can do is you can get rid of your tracing paper and you've traced the points of that new shape. Okay. And that's going to be shape B. So we've rotated it. We started it A there and we've rotated it that way. We've done 90 de degrees. We've done a quarter turn clockwise and we've drawn shape B. Okay. Now, is there any, is, is there any other ways you could do this? You could say, well, I've gone two squares along and one square up to get to shape A. Okay, if I reverse that and said, if I turned that direction 90 degrees, I could say, go two down and one across, and that would give me the corner of my shape. Okay, so I could look at it without tracing paper and I could calculate it. Let's look at this top corner here. Okay, to get to this top corner, I'm going one, two, three, four along and two up. So four to the right and two up. So I'm going to rotate that 90 degrees. So I'm going down first and then I'm going across. So one, two, three, four, one, two, and my corner would be there. Okay, so I can count it if you, if you understand how that works. Okay, brilliant. Okay, not everybody does. So it's, it is quite a difficult one to actually understand what we're doing with that, um, that, that shape when we're rotating it, okay? And again, if you think about it, if I had 180 degrees, let's say I'm gonna do um, a 180 degree, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take A and rotate it 180 degrees. We've got one, two, and one. So two to the right, one up. If I rotate it and I do the opposite, 180 degrees, it goes totally the opposite direction. Two to the left, one down. That's where my point's gonna be. Okay, let's look at the next one. One, two, three, four, one up. That's gonna give me that corner, the bottom corner. So do the opposite, one, two, three, four, one down. That's gonna give me the bottom corner. And you can see from there, I can start to draw that shape in. Okay. And that would be a 180 degree rotation. And I've turned that round 180 degrees. Okay. Let's have a look at question, the, the, the second one, see if this one makes a little bit more sense as well. So what we're gonna do on this one is we're gonna rotate it 180 degrees. This time it's gonna be get, um, about the point, okay? And it'd be as a coordinate, so zero, zero. It may also say the origin, okay? The origin is known as the middle point, zero, zero right in the middle of my graph there. Okay, and we're gonna do 180 degrees. So again, thinking about that, if I can just mark uh, a little place on here so I know exactly where we're gonna go. Okay, if we put a cross in the middle, remember we're gonna go through two quarters, two, two quarter turns, so a half turn. Okay, so we're gonna go, that's one quarter turn and then two quarter turns. Now you can see on there, I'm gonna rub out this cross in the middle again. Okay, you can see that my X isn't quite where it needs to be, so I need to make sure that my X is exactly in the right place, so that they overlay exactly to get there absolutely spot on. 
place I need to plot it. Okay, and we can see there we've got top corner, top corner, bottom corner, bottom corner. Okay, now if I get rid of the uh, tracer paper, okay, my plotting is still there, and I can come down and draw my shape. Okay. And we can call that E dash. So that's 180 degrees about the origin. Okay. One uh, one really quite cool thing about the uh, a rotation that's 180 degrees is if we actually drew a straight line between the vertices. Okay, and match the the matching vertices up they would all cross cross exactly at the uh, center of um, center of rotation so if we didn't know what the rotation was if it's 180 degrees it would actually cross exactly it doesn't work the same for 90 degrees and 270 degrees but it does actually work for 180 degrees so let's get rid of that so that's a 180 degree rotation Okay, so looking at the rotation on a question like this, where it's asking you to describe fully the single transformation, what style of transformation is it? Uh, and we know that that's gonna be a rotation, okay, because it's been turned, it's gone from here, been turned that way. So again, we're telling us, it's telling us what we need to know in the sense of, we've gone clockwise and how much have we gone clockwise well if I take a and I turn it a quarter turn each time we can tell we've gone just one quarter turn clockwise so I've got everything that I need to know for, to answer this question uh, potentially a, a, a two to three mark question if it was a three mark question saying that it's a clockwise rotation of 90 degrees gives you two out of three marks and I haven't even tried to calculate anything yet uh, we've got the other facts so we're going to pick two of the individual points and the, the vertices on this this shape so I'm going to pick this top one here where A is and this top point on B and then just going to change colour and I'm going to pick uh, this point here on A and the matching vertice on B. Now, what I'm going to try and do is draw a straight line from A to B on the same matching vertice. So if I draw this up through that point, you can see hopefully it's gone diagonal across one, two, three, four squares. So I'm going to find the midpoint of that line, which is that point there two squares diagonally okay and what that enables me to do is I'm going to draw a 90 degree perpendicular at that point okay so you can see I've gone one square along one square up okay so 90 degrees is going to put it so I'm going to go uh, down a square at a time so anywhere on this line is where my center of enlargement is going to lay okay so and i can continue that line off the grid if i wanted to okay i'm going to go back to the first two vertices that i've drawn and i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to try and draw a straight line between that one and that one so there's my uh, there's my straight line between those two now again i'm going to go halfway so that's three squares diagonally so i'm going to go one and a half squares okay and i'm going to cut that there now the rules of a 90 degree right angle is if you've got a, a ruler just measure 90 degrees or a protractor measure 90 degrees on there and you'd be able to draw that okay but you can see we've gone one and a half squares along and we've gone half a square up okay so the 90 degree angle from there is going to come down at this angle okay and that's going to continue down okay at that point and that would make my 90 degree angle 
And where those two points intersect at that point there, that is my center. And I can see that's one along the corridor, one up the stairs. So my center is about 0.11. Okay. So pick any two vertices that are matching on the two shapes. Okay, I'll go halfway, make a 90 degree, draw a 90 degree bisect. Okay, and where those two bisects intersect is my center. So on this one, it would be a rotation clockwise of 90 degrees with a center of enlargement, at center of rotation, sorry, center of rotation of 1, 1. So center of rotation on this one of 1, 1. Okay, is there an easier way of doing it? <clears throat> is there an easier way of checking? Potentially, you could just l literally do trial and error. Okay, pick a point using tracing paper and rotate it. Check out my other video uh, on finding the center of rotation using tracing paper. Um, and that, that is a trial and error method. What we can do, you can use some of that and just pick a normal point. So let's pick, say I pick this point here. I wanna say that's my center of, of rotation. Okay, if I pick a point, I'm gonna pick the bottom point on this tri, uh, this uh, trapezium of A, and I'm gonna pick the bottom point, matching point on B. So when we think about, is that the center of rotation? I've come in one, two, three squares along and one square up. If I rotated that measurement, okay, 90 degrees, okay, so I'm just rotating this line 90 degrees now, I'm gonna come out one along, okay, and then I'm gonna do one and then three. One, two, three. So that point would be there. It's not the center of rotation, it's not hitting the same point. So I've gone one, one, two, three, one, one, two, three. Remember, I've rotated that line 90 degrees. Okay, let's pick another color. Let's say I'm gonna say, well, is it this one here? Okay, and from there, I'm coming two along. So just rotate it 90 degrees, two up. It would be that point there. Again, it's not in the same place. Okay, if I think about it, again, just trial and error, just find, trying to find where it is. Okay, so let's move it along one more, get back to where we, we know it's one, one, so let's go to that point there, and we go one down, two along. Remember we're rotating this round, so one, and two up, and that is indeed the matching vertice, okay? And again, it is just trial and error in relation to that. So if that helps, then try that method. Um, using tracing paper will always work. You can always use tracing paper in an exam, okay? Um, and if all else fails, just have a guess. Okay, hopefully that was useful and uh, we'll catch you on the flip side.